Hello, Street Fighter fans. So, here I am again, doing another video for Street Fighter, because I've got nothing better to do over the holidays. So, another tricky one I ran into, for some of us noobs, that uh, I can give a little bit of a walkthrough with, was uh, Dalsing Season 5, Trial Number 2. This one... This one's really tricky with spacing. Um, well, I'm gonna see if I can show you some steps to at least practice it and maybe learn how to uh, get this spacing down and the timing down. So we'll do the demonstration. And it's a really neat combo. Alright, so as you can see, it's using a V skill 2, and it's a cancel at the end. You're canceling from the Yoga Flame into the Ultra, or it's Critical Art. So, anyways, I find that the spacing, you want to be about two blocks away from them. So, if you're really having troubles with it, if you don't know how to do the jump teleport do the input for the jump first I'm gonna put my inputs on so do your inputs for the teleport but delay and move to the jump slightly so you want to be up in the air so it's as soon as you see his feet lift off then you hit your three punch button like that and that'll let you do that punch the jumping punch so if you want, so if you just do a regular teleport, you can't punch, you'll end up just doing a regular punch. So you want to wait here up in the air a little bit, and I'm not very good at it, because I'm not a Dalsine player either. And that will let you land that. So if you want to practice that one, it's do your inputs and then follow through the jump. So you're doing your DP, your dragon punch, followed by a jump. So you just pretty much do a dragon punch, followed by like a Hadouken type quarter circle forward and then with the punch and you want to do it as soon as you see his feet land off the ground that way you're in the air when you reappear now to practice that practice that and that should be a two hit combo right there on its own so you want to do it get the timing so it's see how that's a two hit there and if you do it a little if you do it a little too if you're too high off the ground, you won't do the two-hit combo. So this is just something to practice if you don't know how to do it. So it's a d dragon punch, so you're forward, down, down, forward, and then just keep going up with a punch, or up to a jump motion. But you have to do it quick, so as soon as you hit that top, as soon as you hit that top uh, direction, you want to hit your three-punch buttons. So that's just how to practice that part of the part of the uh, uh, combo of the trial. So, oops, I want that. I want that off because that's just distracting. So obviously this is V2. So you want to charge up your charge up your flame, and then if you notice, that'll come and it bounces back. Now, since I'm not really good with my inputs and I'm a bit of a button masher, I like to be a little bit closer. So around two blocks away if you're looking at the ground. Around two blocks away. And then that'll give you just enough time to... If you can execute it. It should give you just enough time to even delay and stall your uh, teleport or in-the-air teleport. Ah, see, I was either too soon or too late there. I'm not really that good doing it on the left side. On the left side, to be honest with you. Let's see. So I'll just... Yeah, I'm going a little too quick, actually. I've probably gotten a little better at it than now that I've actually completed the challenge, but... Yeah, see, I wasn't off the air enough. I'm off the ground quite enough. Yeah. 
Perhaps I'm too close for my speed that I'm pulling it off now, so maybe just step back a little bit past two blocks. Depending on how fast you are doing it. Two punches afterwards, because if you do your teleport, you do your teleport in the air, and that could be a two-hit combo. It's when the fireball comes back, it gives you that third crouching heart. No. The very last part is a, is a yoga flame, and then cancelled into a critical art. And I find that you're pulling back for the medium, for the medium kick pulling back, and then switching over to the yoga flame. I just find that tricky. So that's something else to practice too. The time, you know? so like that, and then you can cancel into the critical art. That's going to be too late. You have to cancel it pretty, pretty well. Show you again. No, I think I was too soon. Because I want that fireball to be hitting back just after I'm done that first crouching hard. As you can see, I got some of it, but not that second crouching hard. That seems to be where I ran into the most trouble. That second crouching hard punch is really the key, and then getting that uh, medium kick pullback is really important too. It's really tricky transition if you're not used to the motions. Oops. Soon, it looked like it's going to be further away. Your, your, your second crouching hard punch won't reach, so the timing has to be pretty good. So that's why I try to keep around two, maybe one and three quarters blocks away. So we'll two blocks trick is watch your spacing. The closer you are, it gives you a little bit more give on that teleport. Uh, the teleport punch in the air. But don't get too close because when you do your first crouching punch, it'll push the push Ryu back too far so the second one won't hit. So good luck with that. Uh, this is another frustrating character for me to play. Again, probably easy for other people, not so easy for me, and probably people that don't play with Yalcine. Thanks for watching, hit like if you like this video, and uh, yeah, have yourselves a great week.